It's a wonderful life. It's a wonderful life. Well, we're starting off our day whitening our teeth. Make sure you guys check out High Smile if you guys want white teeth. It's honestly really working. I've been using it for about a week now, and it really does work. I think it's definitely the blends of using the toothpaste as well as using the blue light. But today is going to be a very special vlog. It's not going to be trip to the thrift. It's not going to be anything you guys have ever seen. Today. Yesterday, I actually got invited to go to a private Burberry fashion show. Yesterday, Burberry launched their final collection with the director that they're doing. They did the LGBT with all the rainbow collab. It's honestly really sick. So I believe they're gonna show a bunch of that today as well as kind of have a brunch, but I'm gonna do a raw vlog. I'm really gonna kind of record everything just to give you guys a feel like if you're there. Hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Let's get it. Today's fit of the day. I'm just rocking a black snapback, black fear of God pack sun. Then we got the Burberry like Capri pants and then my custom Birkenstocks that I made. So last time I was at this mall is when my bike got stolen, so now I got two locks. I got this bad boy, and I got this one. Hopefully, no one takes my stuff. So it is currently 9.50. I don't think the mall even opens till 10 o'clock. My meeting, or like the fashion show, starts at 11, so we're gonna kind of maybe walk around the mall. Maybe we'll do like a small trip to the mall, but the main thing is the Burberry fashion show. That's the reason why we came here. So we might stop in at little stores, but uh, let's see what we got. Well, there's the Burberry store that we will be back in like an hour. Maybe get some little food or whatnot, but there's the little collection. You can see they have all the rainbow. I love how they added the S, like the vintage style, the Burberries, instead of just Burberry. See the Burberries. So we will be back here in an hour. It's so weird walking in a mall when like it's completely empty, like all the stores are closed, it's quiet, there's no tourists just running around. Totally different. So I've been to this mall plenty of times and I don't think I've ever seen this. Guys, look at this. Like the pillar is like melted. See that? Like the other ones are regular, but look at that one. That one's like warped. That's crazy. Okay, I'm yeah, excited. No, so I see your pants. I'm like, that's him. I know that's yeah, him. How are you doing? Good. Are you? Come, come, come. Are you hungry? Please, we have breakfast. Uh, not at the moment, but I probably will. Come down. Oh, uh, my God. Eric, this is Emilio. This Hi, is my Emilio. store director. Pleasure to meet you. Thank this is the gentleman that I was telling you about yesterday who was coming in to take a look at the sweatpants and a lot of the fashion. Oh, okay. He's yeah, also yeah. a YouTube blogger as well. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah fashion YouTuber. Uh, about to be 45,000 subs, but last month I did 2.2 million views. So. It's oh, amazing. Wow. How did you start that? 
I started about a year ago and I started mainly thrifting. Mm -hmm. I would go to Goodwill, it's kind of thrifting, and then um, that just kind of caught a niche. And then I've always been obsessed with clothes, obsessed with fashion, so mm -hmm. kind of just fell into it. And then, uh, like I said, I started about a year ago and now it's just been blowing up. It's so, you, so you do fashion photography? Uh, videos, so like I'll do a review or I'll, like I've been trip to Aventura Mall playing time just to show people because you know people that aren't from South Florida don't have a South Florida vibe they don't know like no this no. is like they don't experience you know the no people that live in you know the middle of the state that mm -hmm. they have to drive hours to go to the mall they don't they don't know that so it's entertaining to them and then like I said it kind of helps mimosa definitely yeah yeah thank you yeah. I love how they brought the S back too yeah, yeah, this this was the huge, huge inspiration with Christopher Bailey. It's his last show. Which is kind of strange, because you would think that, I mean, it's good, the last show, but he's, like, it, this is probably one of the best collections. I said the same and thing, kind of and he really did, because, you know, Burberry was so classic, and Burberry was just so, my other guess, yeah. Burberry was so classic, and they were just so a little updated because of it being so classic. Yeah. Hello, guys, good morning. Thank you guys for showing up. We don't know. Rumors? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. Uh, it's Kim Jones. Yeah. It's um, which I mean with him with him doing the Supreme LV, which I feel like that would be absolutely killer. Right. He did. It'd be kind of. He did. It'd be dope. Yeah. But, but they haven't announced it yet, and they're not going to announce it probably until Christopher Lee finally leaves and uh, or rather moves his way out in uh, yeah, April. I'm excited to see whoever they bring in, so what they're... And how they're gonna, you know, revigorate. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're excited to see what the next step is, yeah. vision-wise, you know? Definitely. That's what I was saying, like I said, it's, it's a shame that his last collection was one of the best, so it's kind of like... You know, and it was, I, it was, I think it was his best. Yeah. I think it was his absolute yeah. best. Even the music, the lights, like everything just Yeah, I love the, the light best. show. The light show was sick. I, I'm curious how they did it, which is, I guess, Mo Control? So, it's a company, be... the American Visual, uh, it's, arts, a, yeah. yes, arts and, and lighting and so forth. And the they, yeah. mm-hmm, and so they, they're based in the UK, I think. Yeah, yeah they're, they're pretty big, they're really, really big. It was sick how they did it. And he was... worked with them, and then they, because he wanted to create, the lights were representing movement in time. Hmm. He was here for 17 years, so he wanted to create a reflection of those 17 years for himself. Wow, 17 years. Yeah, it's a long time. And even at the end of the show, when he comes out, he takes 17 steps, and then uh, and then stops, and then leaves. Wow. So it's crazy how everything has a, and people don't even realize it. It has a subliminal message to it, like yeah. the Illuminati. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I love the pin streak.
there's not much of a difference. No, yeah. it's a $200 difference. I just made sure because only $200 difference. So there's no wish one. Yeah. And she was like, this is that the wrong. You want it just to, because sometimes you get tired of wearing those, those papers. Mm -hmm. Now you want those little ones? Yeah. So, sometimes I'm going to take this one. You like that one? Just take that one. Thank you. No problem. No, I can probably grab it. If you don't mind, maybe telling what what. Absolutely. So this is home same. cured salmon okay. with uh, uh, dill cream. And this is coronation chicken. It has cranberries, chicken, a little bit of curry, and pine nuts. Um, that's uh, the classic uh, English uh, cucumber sandwich. <clears throat> Homemade scones. Chocolate with uh, salted toffee, and these are um, regular coffee cake. These are homemade marmalades, orange and strawberry. And then on the other side, you have assorted uh, macaroons. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Let's go. I'm already All right. Thank you. So, um, this medium, one, large, small, medium. Small, medium. Large no, that too. No, but yeah. I think that since they're so baggy. Yeah. That description you would give me a line that I don't know how baggy and who you would be comfortable with. Yeah, I think the mediums would probably be the best. I think the medium would too, but just yeah. in case I brought the small in case okay, that was awesome. a too baggy. All right? All right, thank you. Don't worry, take your time. I'll be right outside, okay? All right. Alright guys, so I just finished the little fashion show. I couldn't film any of that, but I will put a little clips of the YouTube fashion show that they did online. Now I'm trying the sweatpants. I got a medium as well as a small. Basically, they're basic sweatpants, but I really love the different color embroidery. Um, they're a little bit expensive, but to be honest, this is a limited edition collab with them. So I'm really going to try to, uh, you know, make it work. So let's try these out. So these are the size medium, you guys can see. They're pretty baggy, uh, you know, it has that vintage, like wide look. It does have a tapered bottom with the embroidered burberries, but it is a but it is a baggy look. Again, this is a size medium. I'm gonna try on the small though, just to see how that fits. So this pair fits a lot better. This is the size small, and just to give a reference, I am six foot, about 150, about a 32 waist, and a size small is fitting me. So just give a reference how big these do fit. Really nice embroidered, again, Burberry's, that baggy vintage look. I don't know if I'm gonna buy them though. I like them, but again, they are a little bit pricey, so I might have to come back for them. Try on these rainbow Novacek shoes. Low top, these things are so hard. Love it. Well guys, I am just leaving Burberry now. I think I might hit up a couple stores, maybe like Y3, Adidas, stuff like that. Actually, let's go upstairs. But that is the Burberry. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, guys, let's get it. Wonderful life Traversing tears from the heavens My heart is a melodrum and